bang, bang. All right, cool. Uh, this the kid, notes two and five. Welcome to the Killer Kicks podcast. I got my homie with me, Carlos. Yo, yo. What up, what up? So uh, let's get right into this. Uh, I think it's like my third episode for Supreme, and um, we're going to talk about this drop. Um, first of all, like, how do you like just the drop in general? Like, The drop is good. There's a lot of stuff I like in it. The tees I like, a lot of accessories I like. There's going to be a lot of good stuff coming out. Some stuff I don't like, but for the most part and overall, I can I dig it. Yeah, it's like it's like definitely. I think there's like more likable stuff uh, for sure um, with this season compared to uh, fall and winter. So um, we are going to actually look at the comparison between uh, fall winter 2017 and fall winter 2018. And y'all can actually look at this yourself. Uh, we actually have our, uh, super, um, what is this called again? Supreme, Supreme uh, community. Yeah. Supreme community. Yeah. So yeah. So they just launched their app, which is pretty dope. And, um, one thing that I like about this is you could just go back into the archive. So you could just click on the little, um, on the little calendar and just scroll down to fall winter uh, 2017 and you can see the same thing that we are basically looking at so um in comparison with uh the first week of fall and winter 2017 versus fall winter 2018 i don't know carlos like <laughs> well let's talk about the uh let's talk about the tees okay so fall winter 2017 i mean nice t-shirts which is only going up yeah <laughs> definitely Nas was like the best thing i wanted from that yeah. first week for sure yeah plus i think like that 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 nice t-shirt was just so iconic because it was something that was being uh rumored to drop for a couple seasons already yeah waiting for it for a while yeah so it was already like something that was due and it was the last picture that uh that guy had took before like that sexual charge oh, thing yeah <laughs> yeah so i mean like you know now we don't have any more of the new photos even though i think that the that the word is that with the uh with the madonna t-shirt she didn't want to retake a, uh, a picture so they told supreme that um you know yeah you know like they could use the madonna t-shirt but she's not going to retake any new you know pictures so they just have to use whatever um is available so yeah. I wish it was a different image, but you know, yeah, like they definitely could it well, to be honest, I just wish it was somebody else to be honest, like I think that they did a good job covering Madonna already with the burning hoodie, uh you know, at the burning cross, like everybody knew that that was a Madonna hoodie, um I don't think that we needed like any more Madonna like in the archive. I would have had like somebody else, you know, like who would you like to see like? somebody new like it's funny because i haven't seen a boxer like thus far a boxer i mean mike tyson was on there yeah mike tyson was on there but somebody new like maybe like mayweather that would have been kind of fucking <laughs> <laughs> why yeah, not your money signs in the back of it or something yo that would have been kind of sick like right. they should definitely I, <clears throat> I mean i haven't seen a boxer yet like the only boxer i've seen was just mike tyson you know and you know he's from new york he's from brooklyn so i yeah. mean I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing someone iconic <clears throat> in the street. But definitely in comparison, though, with the two, we would definitely say that Nas was like the better. Definitely. Sure. Definitely. Then, I then, can't even, um, I mean, honestly, I can't even hate on the Madonna. I, you know, growing up with Madonna, like, I can't yeah. even, I love the shirt, so. But even with Madonna, I would say that the Madonna colors, like, if you click on the Nas colors, what you had, uh, brown, black, white, gray, and then lime, powder blue and red yeah uh, i mean i could do without the lime i could do without the powder i mean like the powder blue is kind of fresh you know but i could definitely do without the uh brown you know so when you go on madonna her colors is like you know pretty flames if you ask me um what you have you have black you know you have like the typical you have black um they're not even showing it here, but you have black, white, uh, what is it? Black, white, that like off yellow. There was a Pale shirt that they, or something. yeah, they, yeah, there was a shirt that they did a couple seasons ago with that color. 
it looks yellowish, but it's more like a dingy white to more than anything. Yeah. Like it's like definitely a dingy white. The red one horrible. I mean, that's red on red, you know. Navy, huh? Powder, huh? But that olive and peach and gray. Olive is hitting. So what else do we have for fall and winter uh, t shirt So we have the Crash T, which has the Supreme written all the way across the back, um, which is kind of flamed. I think that was like a very sleeper. And then you have the Dollar T, which is like not a favorite at all. No. Yeah, like I don't know anybody who liked the Dollar T. Um, Dex. How you feel about that blood and semen? Oh, man, I loved everything from the blood and semen. Yeah. You know? Um, <laughs> it didn't bother me at all. People were kind of grossed out about it, but, I mean, it is what it is. It's just art. Yeah, I just don't know exactly how would... If that didn't say blood and semen, I always would have wondered... <laughs> what it is. How would a people's like reaction would have been? Because I think yeah, that people like blew differently. it. Yeah, because I think like people like blew it like way out of like proportion. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yep. Um, like oh my god, that's so gross. <laughs> blood and semen. Ah, oh, that's so nasty. We seen this, which was the blood and semen, and we saw the camp hat, which was the blood and semen. Which I'm not sure did that drop the first week. Let me see. Um, I don't think so. Let me see. I definitely um, copped it though. No, that wasn't. So people didn't know that that blood and semen was actually going to be like a collab on its own. You know, they just saw the deck. I mean, obviously, people already saw like the fitted hats. I mean, like the camp hats. Um, but people didn't know that it was going to be like. I think it was in the preview. Yeah. Because yeah, they, they had the the hoodie and the pants, the sweatpants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You the know hat. what? Yeah. That yeah. was all in there. Yeah, you're actually right. But they didn't show the T-shirts. They didn't show like the planar image with the hoodies, you know, that came later on, um, you know, oh, yeah. in, in the season right. as, as a collab. Um, another big thing that was like for this, they kind of just continue with the whole Gonzo. So the Gonz uh, skate deck, um, they got the Gonz pins. Um, you know, they got the Gans uh, head tee, which I think it was like, uh, yeah. you know. Um, so they continued with that. Uh, that varsity jacket was really dope, though. Yeah, yeah. I really liked it. It was just too too much for me. And the shorts, too. I mean, a lot of people actually liked the shorts. Like, yeah, the shorts with the heads on it. Yeah. I got the hat. The hat was dope. Yeah, like. With I, all over. Yeah, like, yeah. It, it's kind of dope, like, how they just kept on, like, with that, um. You know, they just kept on going with that, uh, with that theme. Um, other T-shirts that, that are likable from Fall and Winter, uh, 2017. Uh, to me, I definitely like like that Venus because of the whole back. Um, and another thing that I'm not sure if you remember, but this is a season where they actually changed brand for the shirts. Because remember, all the blank shirts yeah. ended up at Kmart. Um. I mean, I definitely like <laughs> um, overall with the t-shirts. I would have to say I like this season, Fall Winter are 18 overall, just because I would, not that I would buy them all, but I would definitely wear the Madonna one, the Liquid Tea, the Still Life Tea I would rock. Mm -hmm. The Cutouts Tea is pretty, it's pretty fire. Yeah, like the Bottle Cap, I could do without. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's just too plain. I feel like there's something pretty nice on the back, so we still have to wait for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, life sucks. Life sucks. T. I can dig it. Yeah, the one that's uh, the cutout or cutout T. Uh, not a big fan of it. Um, I just think that there's like too much shit like all over it. Mm -hmm. uh, what it says, I can't stop panic. Fuck. I mean, all types of like random shit. Um, I definitely like like this whole fuck you tea. Yeah. Um, I forget like what's like the story about it, but it's like this guy who has like an art gallery, like some like weird shit. I'm not sure yeah. if you know how accurate that is. I mean, it does, it looks like when you uh, you know you do the blood signs with the yeah signs, yeah you know? yeah um, yeah that's yeah. what it looks like for sure. Yeah. It um, is kind of weird though with yeah. all the fingers just going on different ways. Is yeah, it's odd. Now let's talk about um accessories real quick in comparison um i think that this year um they kind of blew it out the waters 
in comparison with fall and winter. Um, I mean, because what we have for 2017, so we have like the shovel, which was kind of weird. Yeah. It's it was like, like, didn't need that. Yeah. It was like, we really didn't need um, a shovel. Yeah. When I look at accessories, I, I, I want to be able to use that accessory. Right. Exactly. Like, I just don't want to buy an accessory just because, like the crowbar thing. Yeah. Like, when that came out, it was just like, yeah. Eh, like, you know, I'm gonna break somebody. I'm gonna break into somebody's house and style and shit. You yeah, know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it's, you know, the cops are gonna be looking for. You know, there's, a, there's a there's a mid twenty year old guy who broke inside a house with a supreme crowbar. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But but like, I like stuff. You know, I definitely like this gold trim ashtray. Yeah, definitely. I wanted to get that one. Yeah, which impossible. was like real fucking fire. I like the handcuff uh, for Fallen Winter. I didn't even remember that. That was a keychain. Yeah, yeah. Um, the light. Eh. Mini light. Yeah, the mini light was just like, you know. I remember buying the safety. Uh, the money bag. Yeah, the money bag. And <laughs> it's crazy because what did I pay? $58. And that right now was still reselling for like $250. What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's like pretty fucking sick, yo. Like the whole thing with the key. Yeah. Um. You know, before you die, you know, thirteen ninety four, right. uh, which is B F U D, and then thirteen slash ninety four. Uh, that was f- fucking sick, man. Like just like that whole yeah. thing. But I just got rid of it because it's like, w- I mean, like, what the mm-hmm. fuck? I'm a like, yeah, you know, yeah. Like I, I don't mean, need. It's, it's anything. hard to tell what is gonna be, you know, what's gonna be, like, know, like profitable. Yeah, just because <laughs> yeah. you never know with these accessories and stuff. You know. Yeah, like I would have never thought that this would like still be like. That money bag would still be like up there. Um, I think that there was something about this. Um, let me see if there is there any more like really good accessories. No, but I think that the one thing that I remember fall winter seventeen that stood out was when I fucking saw that Scarface jacket. And I was like, yeah. oh my god! <laughs> like that was like the yo, this yeah. is crazy. And yeah. then and then they showed a lamp, and then they showed a fucking. You know, they didn't show. I don't. I don't think that they showed the t-shirts, but they did show the hoodie. They yeah. showed the jacket. They showed the sweatpants, and they showed a lamp. And I was like, "Holy fucking shit!" Yeah. <laughs> you know, only because, I mean, that's the first movie that I remember watching as a kid in VHS. Um, I still remember it to yeah. this day. So one of my favorite movies. I I still have the original. I have a gold platinum edition. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah, like same movie. Yeah, when I first saw the 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 preview i wasn't really down with the jacket because i don't really wear denim jackets but the hoodie with the same print i was just like wow like seeing that and seeing the nas t-shirt those were the my two favorite things from uh 2017 fall winter yeah Uh-oh. and and i remember like i was doing like this little like trivia thing i was like yo what is what does a nas t-shirt and the scarface denim jacket have in common right <laughs> And it was like, yo, the fucking Mob Deep song. Yeah. That, that, that. <laughs> yeah. Like, yo, so it was like the most perfect thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was definitely, uh, you know, perfect. It's um, a great matchup. Yeah, definitely. Plus they dropped the blimp too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I they, mean, it wasn't that for that week. But, yeah, it definitely wasn't know. for that week. But they, they, <clears throat> they did a real good job, like, embodying, like, that whole Scarface theme. Right. Um. And that was my favorite thing about that. Do you think that was intentional that they did that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They definitely know. They, they, they. I just don't think that they wanted to like smack Scarface on everything, mm-hmm. you know. So that blimp was definitely intentional. Um, How about these bags? Bags for this year are definitely better. Better. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of the whole. Shit, like what material is this? Nylon? Let me see if it, uh, so 100%. What's that? Because I can't read it from here. Cordura. Yeah. Uh, ripstop nylon. Yeah, yeah, nylon. There you go. Well, so, they had that teal, they had black, they had red, they had white. Yeah, that was kind of like. So now this season we got. Yeah, so in comparison, and there's other stuff too that I'm, I mean, because I'm not going to talk about everything in the first week because not everything was worth. Like the DNA t-shirts is horrible. The patchwork hoodie, fucking horrible. Um, I did like the twill camo camp hat from 2017. Um, what about the um? All right, so we got that patchwork. 
Yeah. A lot of people liked it, though. I and was, now we have this patchwork shirt and shorts. Well, <clears throat> they do do a very good job at spreading shit throughout the years. Yeah. So, I mean. It's pretty close to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost definitely because there's two shirts that doesn't have that they just added, which is like kind of weird. Yeah, just a plain yeah. white and a black. Yeah. I'm not really sure. But what I do like about, let me see something. Did they add? Yeah. So if you look at the patchwork from 2017, um, it it was a like regular Supreme logo with like the, the what's the name of that font? Old like, English. Yeah, Old English. Yeah. And this patchwork is like the classic Supreme logo, which I like better. Right. It just gives it a, you know, it just gives it a nicer look. And I think that the colors that they chose, I mean, you can never go wrong with khaki, blue, and orange, and fucking olive. Dude, yeah, that one's... I mean, that's kind of... That that's, nice. that's I feel like people like the other colorway. <clears throat> I mean, like, that's fall all, like, all day, mm -hmm. you know? Um, the other one is like a little bit too bright, but they have tampered with th those colors before on the fucking, um, I think it was like a windbreak or something. It was like a real 80s, uh, 80s style. Um, but in terms for this season, now this season, we have the Madonna t-shirts, like we said. We have the liquid tees. Um, so, you know, we already went through that. So the bags, to me, are definitely way better uh the material is way better um it's a four layer fabric with 3m I mean, shit you know yeah i think the um the uh the spell out letters are yeah way better are are the 3m yeah yeah that's what 3m is um yeah, <clears throat> the purple i haven't seen purple bags shit so i mean i really what surprised me was um no camo no camel bags. Yeah, that was what surprised me. Um, I think that they should have did at least a camel. If there was a color that had to be replaced, mm -hmm. yellow. Yellow, right? <laughs> yeah, I would have replaced yellow because I definitely don't want to replace purple. Right. But I definitely would have replaced the yellow. Yeah. Um, and just replace that with the same camel that they used for that um that hat well, that like they the did. Woodlands. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely uh, replace it for that same camo. Um, it would have been nice if they did bags that matched the reflective 3M camo set mm, that's coming out. Mm, you know? Mm. With the hat and the jacket and the like, reflective camo. I mean, they do have a reflective puffer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That same <laughs> material on, on a backpack and yeah. shoulder bag yeah. and all that. That yeah. would have been fired for like a yeah. whole... For this season. Yeah, that would have been... <sighs> off the fucking that would have been through the roof yeah um so but definitely we could both agree that the bags are definitely way better uh they did a you know a better job um in terms of um uh, accessories we got this huge ass toolbox which is uh 128 dollars which is pretty big though yeah i mean I've had a toolbox before. I don't need a toolbox that big. No, not one that says Supreme on it. No, I mean, you know, it's, it's, I think like, you know, with these things is either, do you want to be a hoarder and just buy anything and everything? Or do you yeah. want something that you're like literally practically going to use? And with me, I don't mind buying certain things. Like I still have my, uh, my China plate, you know, with the spoon for the uh, uh, faux soup. Yeah. You know, I still have that, which I've never used. Um, I mean, I still have a couple stuff that I haven't used, but it's a shame because then I forget that I have it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like that's why I like just having stuff that I could use. Um, so, uh, so we have that. I think another thing uh, that I I want to talk about uh, in terms of the bag is I like this like utility bag. Oh yeah, that's definitely. That's definitely fucking fire. Which is like like utility bag slash like makeup bag yeah you know but it says 3m again so i'm assuming that like you said like that supreme across that plastic is 3m fire we'll find out. fire for some reason I, I feel like that cross stitching pattern or whatever might be 3m mm. i can't 
yeah it's it's kind of hard to tell um i definitely like like the thermos um that's pretty dope uh stopwatches ugh, i mean oh way overpriced yeah i'm uh, not sure how much they really go for but it's just a stopwatch i mean yeah your phone has that same option <laughs> again another useless although i will say that I would just buy it just to have the next thing and just hang my keys around it. Right. <laughs> you know, um, I like the level keychain. Yeah, did they come out with a keychain? Uh, yeah, they did the uh, handcuff yeah. keychain. Handcuff. Which one you like better, handcuff keychain or this mm, level? I'll, Useless level. I'll, I'll have to say the level, to be honest. Keychain, I mean, handcuffs, you just have like two fucking handcuffs. <laughs> With addition of your keys, it's right. just like too. Schm- it's like too much shit. Like just like hanging like around. Like I like the level more better. Yeah. Um, you could do a lot of stuff with that. You could take it to the strip club, <laughs> level somebody's ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, your doctor didn't do too much of a good job. Um, I would say I, t- I keep on saying that I'm gonna treat myself to one of like these 24 karat gold like necklaces but not this one yeah <laughs> because the one from 2017 was way better which was the dollar bill or whatever yeah. the, it was like 100 yeah 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 a hundred dollar bill um yeah i definitely don't want a panther um but the hundred dollar bill was yeah, like that f- yeah that shit is fucking fire um it's funny i haven't seen anybody on instagram that would have like the whole entire like 24 karat gold like chain collection like every <laughs> single i mean everybody posts everything else right yeah but i haven't seen anybody post that someone bust out like uh mr t with all the chains on fire um so How about some sleepers uh, well let's talk about the hats i think that there's a lot of better hats that came out this season opener than last season definitely there's um, a bunch of hats in here um so like so for 2017 you have the gonzo six panel which i wasn't a fan of at all uh you have the new era snake script uh the beanie which they did it to match the like um the baseball jersey not a fan the s logos was like by far like the best one for that first drop um, I remember buying the Desert Camel. I don't know if you had any of them. No, I never got one. Um, what else? We have the Brush Twill Script uh, Six Panel, which I wasn't a fan of because of the whole, it's like that ashy look. Uh, the Centerpiece Beanie, not a fan of. The Heart New Era, kind of funny because I hated it when it came <laughs> out and now I like it. Yeah. Like now, like. I'm actually looking to buy one. Right. It's actually like pretty fucking dope. Um, and particularly the black and red one, the navy, um, and the royal and orange. More of that royal and orange because it has like that Mets look. <clears throat> and then um, what well, we have a, a fire five panel, which is horrible. And then we have the survival nylon six panel, which right. is horrible. So What's I only mean? liked one hat. Oh, and the Nyko 12 camp. So. Yeah, like some digital yeah, camo on it. Yeah, yeah. It's like a digital camo. So let's see. So we literally like one, two out of, what's that? Two, three, uh, four, f- four, five, six seven eight nine so we like three out of nine yeah yikes pretty rough um and then but we go here to uh this week's drop and what do we have so we have the uh s logo um panel which what's the name of that material so it's cordora yeah cordora so it's not even i dig it you don't like the little tag yeah i just don't like like the little tag that they uh, yeah i don't mind it uh, but the colors is fire though yeah yeah um the reflective camel camp yeah dig it i dig it i'm getting that for sure the wasp chino twill fire yeah is and particularly like that denim one um 
what else what other hats uh horizon five panel me personally i like this hat a lot i like the denim and i like the uh camo one yep um i like the guadalupe beanie mm. yeah, that's kind of fire um it's a bit much going on there for me and the bone classic six panel that's all you we're talking <laughs> i'm like trying to like drill it in so i'm like yo you need this this is fire man <laughs> it's like the best hat i like it i like every single color except for navy and burgundy and uh red and khaki but every other color is just like wondering what's on the back um i'm pretty sure it's just gonna say like supreme mm-hmm. yeah um the only thing i n- never like about these hats is well I wonder if it's a snapback or if it's a strap. It's probably strap. Yeah, I will hope so. Um, How about those uh, loose cage beanies, those are pretty tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure why they dropped like this bucket, but not a fan of bucket hats. No, nah, not at all. I don't um, even really see anybody wearing them either. So no, uh, the classic script New Era. Uh, not a fan, which is like the like like the scripture. Um, I think that'll give some time where it's gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like it right now. I might like yeah. it later on. You know, or I might just have to see it in person to be honest. Cause that that green one is fucking fire. Yeah. Now that I look at it, like real good. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, there's a bunch of hats this this season that's season. like likable. Yeah. Right. I mean, for sure. Let me see. Let me count how many we have for this season. So we have one. So are we just counting like the camp hats? Or all the hats in general. So uh, let's yeah, just, let's do, yeah, we don't have to do beanies. Uh, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. And out of six, I like four. Yeah. <laughs> I actually like five of those. <laughs> I mean, that's a big difference. Yeah. You know, that's a huge difference. So overall, um, I would say that this week's opener mm-hmm. is like way better. Even like with the hoodies, like you have the bone zip up hoodie, uh, sweatshirt with the dog in the back. Yeah. I'm not sure you like that. That's fucking fire. Um, yeah, man. I mean, I'm not mad at this season at all. Like um, I actually like it a lot. I was expecting to see something that I didn't like, but it was like, kind. Of, I mean, I'm not going to like everything, but I've always said, if you look at a lookbook and if you like more than like 15 or 20 items, then you're in. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely had that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you're in and that's not even including what they're going to do for collabs. Yeah. Um. So, uh, uh, last season was pretty disappointing. I don't remember what the uh, collabs were for fall. For fall, winter. Winter. Um, if my memory serves me well, well, because you could definitely go through the week. So let's see, week two. I, if my memory serves me, it was definitely the Scarface. Um, you know, Doctor Martin shit always. Um, uh, there goes the blimp. Yeah, these Nikes is horrible. The Nike SB Force 2. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. And that was like really bad. Yes, this collab right here was a fucking sleeper, which yeah. I went crazy on this shit. This is the Supreme. Um, hysteric. Yeah, Hysteric Glamour. Glamour. Yes. Yeah, it took me a minute to to like it. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. There was I, a lot of pieces that I wanted. I, don't, I only acquired the... Uh, the zip up hoodie, uh-huh. the zip up uh, sweatshirt. Yeah, but man, that parka was fire. Yeah, yeah, uh, the parka was fire. The hoodies were fire. I ended up getting the hoodie with the lettering all over the place, and I got the Pepsi color because I knew that that was going to be like the favorite one, like out of like that whole bunch. And yeah, they killed this collab. Yeah, a lot and, of good stuff. yo, and the the work jacket is insane. They definitely did that work jacket different than the Scarface one because the packets. The pockets is like it's like slanted, so you could like you know it's not like like stitched up where you have to like put it like I don't know it's a fucking weird way of like explaining, but it's side pockets, it's not like front mm-hmm. pockets. Um, then uh, 
you definitely have the the semen, the blood and semen. Yeah, the Andres. Uh, Again, Serrano collab. Yeah, which they did a Madonna and Child T-shirt, which. Again, like I, I kind of feel like they did a good job just like covering Madonna. Yeah, that's why, like, you know, I I just kind of had like an issue with it because they could have just chose something else. Like, they could have left Madonna for fucking spring and summer. Right. Um. What other collabs? Let's see if we if if uh, we come across anything. Oh, f- Stone definitely. Island. Yeah, the Stone Island with the. The more that I see that see through uh, Anorak, the yeah. more I like it. <laughs> <laughs> In particular, like that yellow one. Yeah. Um, I, I was kind of crazy for like that puffer, but it's like, eh, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like it's, it's I, think, like, I think that that whole like flower. <clears throat> I like whole, the like, print, but I wasn't too, like the, the material is kind of weak. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But the anorak is fucking fire because, yeah. like, on a day like this, which is Sunday, is raining. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, perfect. That uh, the hooded sweatshirt was, was, was really nice. Yeah. When I got it in the mail, I had the olive one. I pulled it out the bag and I was like, wow. Like I got a size too small, so I had to sell it. But wow, it was. Yeah. yeah. It was more than what I was expecting. Yeah. To get. They did a good job with that. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, they definitely did a, a good job with that. Um, with that Stone Island. Yeah. And it was his um, Scarface. Yeah, Scarface, which we already talked Hit about, on, which yeah. which they killed it. You know, I mean you, everything on that. <coughs> even like the deck. Damn, I, I forgot even, about like the decks. Yeah, dude, they killed it too. Yeah, yeah. They had that Playboy thermal too in that John. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking fire. Uh wow, North Face. It was a trash. But they did two North Faces they did. that that year. Yeah. So they did the leather one, which was, which was like, still bad though. Which was like really bad, and then they and then they did the other one with the mountain. Yeah. Uh, which that one was like the more likable one, but I kind of feel like it was the more likable one because the one with the leather was just that bad. Uh-huh. Um. So, what was the other collab? You had, like, the Nike Trail Runner? Yep. Did not like the colors. Some people felt it. <laughs> yeah. I think that the colors was was more for girls. You know, ni- uh, fucking, what's that, nylon, pink, and powder blue. You know? That's, like, more for, like, girls and shit. Yeah. The one thing that flew from that week, can, can you go back to that yeah. same week? That uh, hooded logo, half zip pullover, that fucking camo, people went yeah. ape shit because <laughs> of the Brooklyn Box logo t-shirts. Yep. Wow. It went crazy. Yo, that like flew. That flew. And I remember looking at the pants. I'm like, yo, I want to get the pants. And I didn't <laughs> expect for the pants to sell that fucking fast. <laughs> yeah, they were gone. Yeah. They that, were so gone. Yeah, that, yeah, that was kind of, that was like kind of weak. Um Another collab from 2017 was uh, Akira. Fire. Yeah, that was like so your favorite. Good. I mean, if you're like a fan of the... That's what I like about Supreme. You know what I mean? They can cater to fans of certain things. And uh, I mean, they could have did a better job, but, you know, it's down to the creator as well. You yeah. know, they sit down with the creator and they're like, you know, this is what I got to offer. Um, so if I, you're a fan of it, then, you know, you can't really hate. Yeah. The skate decks was fire. Dude. The ashtray was amazing. Mm. I liked every single piece. I couldn't acquire it all, man. I had to get just a t-shirt and a hoodie and keep it moving. Yeah. But I actually went out to the drop for that one. How was that? It was good. It was my first experience, you know, standing in line, waiting for Supreme. A lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people. I was, up, I was, you know, number 20-something, so I'm glad I was in 100-something. So. Sheesh. Sheesh. Um, what else we had? Uh, the champions, so, which I would say this year's champions is... I don't, it's, like, weird because like, I don't even feel like that's a collab anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's like not. Like, it's a staple. Yeah. Every season yeah, has... Yeah. As like, you can expect it to yeah, happen. Yeah, but, but I would say that the only likable thing this year from champions... Is that satin jacket? Uh huh. 
you know everything yeah. else is just like real lazy they just put that fucking patch on it yeah mm-hmm. real you know pretty horrible yeah um we got the independent logo yeah yeah which um, was, I didn't like anything. Yeah, from that. I, yeah, I didn't like anything at at all. That was like a snooze. <laughs> that was definitely a snooze button. Uh, was week fourteen looking like? Let's see. Um, oh, the Tim. How can we forget the Timberland? <laughs> the Timberland. The Timberland flag, Dude. which yo Joel's is jo- about to do like twenty years right now, yo. I for thought, like, <laughs> when we saw him on there, I was like, "Whoa, we might get a T-shirt." Yeah, nobody knew. <laughs> <laughs> that was the thing because Joel's was the first one that opened his yap about it. Yeah. Oh, you know, you know, he was the one who put it out there first, so no, everybody had to speculate like, "Yo, there's gonna be another Dipset <laughs> yep. Supreme T-shirt." And then we saw the boots, and it was, it was like, like oh, so bad, so bad. Like Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, then the following week, you had North Face again. Yeah, and this one was way likable. Yeah, I mean, I liked the parka, I liked the uh, the Bartolo jacket, the backpack was dope. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure why they made a blanket, but well, I mean. They do a lot of weird shit. I mean, it's it's North Face. Like, North Face is a, you know, camping type of brand, you know, outdoor yeah. woods. So, um, and then you have the, what week is this? Week uh, 12? 16. Or 16. You, you had the box logos, which I like the crew necks. Um, yeah, man. That was in a collab list. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's not a collab, but, you know, that's always... There's always something to look forward to. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and that was pretty, pretty much, much it. it in terms of collabs. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty much it. So So what are you looking forward to? Um, so for this year, I'm definitely looking forward to North Face. Um, I hope that they make a better one from what they did last year, mm-hmm. last season, which not last year, but last season. Uh, the coach jacket really I, I have a feeling I'm gonna end up getting that coach jacket just for the fuck of it but you know yeah. they they could have did something else um I would like to see them redo the corduroy mm-hmm. or corduroy North Face uh yeah that would be tight yeah um probably another steep tech mm-hmm. um or like a uh like a 1990s uh North Face yeah I wouldn't mind like a vintage look yeah you know, mm-hmm. that would be tight. You know, that's what we're looking for now. Um, so I'm definitely stuff looking. That might not even come out. You know, I mean, I would love to see Cause because that's been rumored. Yeah. Um, something with Bape. Yeah. That's been rumored. Yeah, that's been rumored. What about Jordan? You think there's something going to come out this year? Because um, it was talking about the Jordan 1, remember? Like for the longest, they kept on talking. Like they, you know, it was, the, it was the Jordan 5 and then they said it was a Jordan 1. Right. So, yeah, I mean, the Nike collabs lately has not been really good. So if they pull out something with Jordan. Yeah, I would like to see a Jordan 1. Jordan 1. Yeah, I mean, Jordan 1s are, you know, on the rise. Yeah. You know, um, I feel like no one really wants all the other. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> like, a Jordan 11 is not even like. No. Not even like thinkable. No. Like, what would they do with a Jordan 11? Smack Supreme like across the patent leather, like real bootleggish. Right. Um, I would like to see an Adidas. I remember a couple years ago, man, that something was rumored for Supreme and Adidas. Mm-hmm. Um, it just never came to fruition. Yeah. I bought smaller brands like Awake. That would be like a too good to be true, <laughs> only because you know. The designer was the designer for Supreme. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think that they would touch on anything. I kind of feel like when they present new brands, it's like brands that's popping in the UK. Right. Like, like they wouldn't do like a Chinatown market. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't do pleasures. Right. Yeah, they wouldn't do none of that shit. You don't think there'll be something crazy like Off White and Supreme? Uh, nah. Nah. I just well. You can't never say never because I, I don't think that I've ever seen a Supreme Louis Vuitton. Right, exactly. You know. Yeah, I mean, do you feel that we're gonna have another um, 
you know, maybe like a Gucci or mm. with all these Gucci colorways, like would what that they did not say, explode? They did say, I, I don't know if you remember in the summertime, they did say something about a Dolce & Gabbana yeah. and a Supreme. Mm-hmm. So I think that would be like the next, yeah, yeah. like quote unquote, like high fashion. Yeah, yeah. And then they keep on rumoring like this whole like Rolex. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that thing would be so much money, dude. Um, but is it doable, though? I mean, obviously, it's out of reach for us, but they just sort of... How, how much money was that uh, pinball machine? 15000 Nine nine thousand. Oh, 9000 10000 Yeah, 10000 yeah. So, I mean... I feel like it's just getting up and up. I mean, did it have that skateboard... Case whatever uh, Louis Vuitton was yeah. it fifty? Yeah. So. Yeah. Like fifty k. Yeah. So I mean it's uh, I mean, you just never know. I would like to see another Lacoste Supreme. Yeah, I mean, the first. Um, what did they have one last season? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. With the all yeah. over print, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Not too good. No. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the season before that was pretty good. Yeah, 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 not too good. So, I mean, you know, I'm looking forward to some of the collabs that I do know about, that we always know about. Mm-hmm. But I'm also looking into collabs that we don't know anything about. Yeah. You know, there's always, like, brands that may pop up that we just... I mean, honestly, my favorite collabs are always something with, uh, you know... Like a hip hop group or band or something, mm-hmm. you know, like those always hit for me, mm-hmm. you know, more than Vans or like Alien or, you know. Yeah, like the Skull Pie was just fucking yeah. stupid. Yeah. But when you think about like Vans, there's two things that you think about, like, right, like skating and like rock bands, right? Because like rock bands always used to like punk rocks. They always used to like rock bands and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So I was, I would like to see a collab with both. Yeah, yeah. A fucking, I don't know, some fucking, a Rolling Stone fucking Supreme Vans collab or like a, a Led Zeppelin mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or, you know, like Have something. With, uh, some, with another, you know, uh, a brand and a band. You know, yeah. How they did yeah, like the, yeah. um, the Public Enemy did Undercover. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like it was Supreme, Public Enemy, and Undercover. Mm-hmm. So they should definitely do something like that with, in terms of uh, Vans. Um, but I'm very, you know, I'm I'm just looking forward to the, to the, you know, to the collabs that we don't know about. Mm-hmm. And I think that this year is going to be kind of hard because there's so much likable stuff during the season that, God forbid, something happens. Mm-hmm. Where something a dope collab comes and then there's some regular mm-hmm. shit from the season that you want. Yeah, and <laughs> famous painters too, uh, also collabs. You know, like yeah. did they do a Salvador Dali? I mean, that's mm. what. No, not that I could I think of. I would love, you know. Yeah, but that'll be dope. Yeah, that'll be dope. I kind of feel like that painting shirt that they have, though. I think that they're probably going to make a collab out of that. Whoever like that painter is. Mm-hmm. What shirt is that? Yeah. Um, That's like a painter we don't know about, though. We don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, me and you. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the bedroom. Yeah, they don't even get into this, like, whoever, like, this artist is. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah, artist collabs are, you know, like musicians and artists, like anything art related mm-hmm. collabs mm-hmm. is some of my favorite stuff to see. Yeah, yeah. So um, it's definitely going to be uh, very interesting. Now, let's kind of talk about like buying and reselling. Yeah. Like, so in my last podcast, I was talking about how I used the uh, Super Cop Bot. And um, I kind of put uh, you onto that too. Yeah. And it worked for a while. It worked. It's, uh, <laughs> the first season I tried it was working lovely. Second season, not so much. Yeah, and then, like, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, somewhere after, like, that Louis Vuitton shit, it was just, like, a free fall of bots. Yeah. It was like everybody had a bot. Like, right. it was, like, bots on bots on bots. It was bots versus bots. Um, But now it's to the point where bots is not even working. 
Yeah, I had downloaded the uh, Heated Sneaks and was not able to purchase one thing through Supreme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with that bot. I, I kind of felt bad for that because I was like, yo, we got to try it. But it's like, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like, what the fuck? It's like yeah. the only way to try it is to buy it, you know? I mean, honestly, it works for a lot of other things. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. It, it, it definitely works for like Kiff and like all the other stuff. But for yeah. what we wanted it to work for, which was Supreme. Yeah. Supreme yeah. security is just out of, it's just. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're definitely getting better with that shit. Um, so, how do you buy this year? Do you buy normally? Do you buy um, with a bot? I kind of feel I mean, like manual. You're not really gonna get nothing. So yeah, I use the like a filler app to fill all my information up. Right, but then I kind of feel like I, I don't know because the word is that they might make lots of quantities and. Yeah. That's why you don't see too many like reselling stuff like now. I mean, like kind of just think about it now opposed to like last year or even a couple years ago. Like the first week, it was like everybody would make the f- most money. Right. I remember right seeing Nas. We were like, yo, fucking Nas t shirt for $300. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. 400, I saw it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah 400. For certain colorways, yeah. And actually sold. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, you know, it's kind of weird with. Uh, this drop coming out tomorrow, which is Monday, mm-hmm. and um, so does that mean it's going to be like Monday and Thursday, or it's just going to be Monday? I think it's just Monday. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I think that they want to eliminate the whole people having to wait for a whole entire week. Yeah, you know. I mean, we I've been waiting for a little while too, and I'm getting antsy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, shit. They should have did a Saturday. They weren't yeah. fucking to push it up, right? Or they could have did Friday. I mean, fuck it. I mean. Who does Friday belong to now? Mm. Kiff, Kiff and Palace. Those are only those are the only two that make Friday yeah. drops. Yeah. Shit, I would have been like, man, fuck all of y'all. We dropping, you know. <laughs> so, and just kind of make like the competition a little bit more like you know out there, mm-hmm. you know, because for years, I mean, people don't really do too many drops on Thursdays. Right. right. But like, I kind of feel like they should have did Thursday in store and then Friday mm-hmm. on. Online, mm-hmm. fuck it. I mean, um, but yeah, it's like, how do you? And then, is it is it worth like reselling anymore? Because I think now we have like this whole thing, you know, with the stock X, and you know, it's like this whole thing with stock X. Like, you know, they, you know, stock X is like the killer of like reselling. Um, it's just a big market, so you have a bunch of people trying to sell stuff, and they panic and start to sell it. For super cheap and then it makes that article of clothing or you know accessory mm-hmm. just not worth it if you're trying to sell it for x amount of dollars they're like well on stock x is this much yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know it's you know yeah it's like it's you're, like, you're reselling to make a profit you know you're not selling to break even or make five dollars on top of something yeah yeah like you're definitely reselling to make at least 120 mm-hmm you know, mm-hmm. or like a cool hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. And that's after everything is done, like fees and everything, shipping and all. But like, not no like fifteen fucking dollars. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you know, is it worth selling, reselling Supreme this mm-hmm. year? Is it? Is it? You know, is the market there? As to once upon a time, when it was a free fall and anybody could just add any fucking price. Yeah. You know, back then the market was eBay. Yeah. Be like, yo, I just saw somebody sell one for five hundred. Fuck it, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sell it for five hundred. Yeah, yeah. It's like whoever it sold it first for the highest, yeah. they set the tone. Yeah. Whereas like now, stock X set the tone. Yeah, yeah. And we uh yeah, just to make it clear, we do resell and mm-hmm. you know, it just uh we love this so much that it's just easy, you know what I mean? There's 10 things that might drop in a week. You like one or two things. You got to buy five things so you can make yeah. your money back. Yeah. You know, we both have kids, so yeah. we're trying to make yeah. Yeah. some money and not go yeah. broke just buying yeah. clothes. Yeah, I'm definitely not. Um, <laughs> I'm not trying to uh, buy to like, yo, let me sell it to my homie for like an extra five bucks. Yeah. 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 And we're not resellers just to, um, just to just like buy, buy shit. all this stuff and just sell it. Right. No, we're buying it because we love all this stuff and we want to acquire some pieces and we want to make some money back. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, fuck it. I mean, like the market is there. Shit. Why not? You know? Yeah. I mean, 
we have the knowledge of it, you know. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you have those people that are, oh, yo, listen, I've been at consignment shops and I have met people in their 50s. Yeah. That's like reselling their fucking skate decks that they bought from like way back for like 2400 and 3000 And I'm talking about like one deck. Yep. So they know what the fuck they have. You understand what I'm saying? So obviously at one point, even like the guy who did like that whole selling thing on grow that he sold his whole entire collection like mm-hmm. you know you're going to resell it at one point or another so right. i mean what the fuck I, yeah, I, you can't keep these things forever no. yeah i think anybody who buys supreme is a fucking reseller <laughs> yeah you're eventually gonna resell it yeah you're eventually point. yeah because trust me when the when your pocket starts going on e or you want something yeah. or maybe a car down payment i had a friend of mine's like that he was like yo i've I gotta buy me all this fucking Honda Civic, y'all. Yeah. Wanted so bad, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna sell me a couple North Faces, yep. and that'll be like my money down for yep. the car. So he made like five, six grand, yeah. and put the money down. I mean, uh, shit, why not? He already enjoyed it. Yeah, so, you can hate reselling all you want, but I mean, that's what it's. Yeah, I mean, it's all about. But it's like now, it's like you know, like part of my platform of always reselling has always been grilled. So it's like, but now it's. StockX and I've sold something on StockX before and it was just a horrible experience. Never do it again. And um, and then you do have the rumor that you know they sell fake things on StockX and Mm -hmm. you know like you really don't you know you don't know what you're getting. So it's like as a reseller, is it worth receiving these messages? Oh well, StockX is selling it for such and such. You know, because it's easy to say that, but just mm-hmm. because you're saying it, that doesn't mean that you're a person that buys from StockX. Right. You're just like a fucking, a natural low baller. I mean, at this point, I really don't have, I've never got anything from them. So I can't really say if, you know, if I'm getting, if fakes are being sold. Right, right, right. Because you know. I don't even know how that rumor started, but like. You know, like I said, I sold stuff. I don't, you know, I don't know if they might be swapping it out. Um, I think that the whole story came about, uh, about started off with a guy who does a fake ed- education because he has some ties to StockX, and it's always been like a, 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 it's always been a mystery of how he gets all those fakes. Right. You know, so then he started to do, uh, he started to do like fake versus real box logos yeah. and. So how he's getting these like yeah. fakes? I mean, the process yeah. of the legit checks are kind of fishy as well. You know, like I I bought a pair of Jordans from a store, knew they were real, went to go resell them. They're like, these are fake. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, yeah. They're like, this guy's professional. I'm like, he's a professional liar because. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bought them at the store with the receipt. Like, what do you want? You know, I didn't buy them from eBay. I didn't get them secondhand from nowhere. Got them from the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like people's, yeah, it's like what is your expertise of like. Yeah, what you you think is real or fake. Yeah, like what you think is real or fake. So, you know, and some of, I had this guy that was following me. Um, This was like before I deactivated my Instagram. There was like this like guy from like Japan. And this motherfucker, I would show Carlos like all like these pictures. He was like, like DMing me. Like, there's one in particular factory that was making all this fake Supreme shit. And he was sending me pictures of, like, like so, like, one picture that he sent me was, like, the North Face with the mountain. And he was showing me how, like, they were getting all the sheets. And the big thing about this factory was that they also get hired to do legit items. I well, mean, yeah, they got hired to do the actual pieces. Right, exactly. They have all the cutouts for... <laughs> <laughs> so they have all the cutouts for the, the legit templates and everything. Yeah, 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 they have the templates and everything for the legit shit, but they also make the bootleg shit. Yeah, same place, <laughs> the same exact fucking place. So it's like, how do you legit check something like that? Right. It's like yeah. everything was like on the fucking yeah. money, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like now, fix are getting so good. It's yeah, hard to tell. yeah, and I haven't received a. I mean, shit. I I can't tell you when was the last time I got a Supreme receipt yeah what was oh, the, from supreme yeah from supreme like what was like the last receipt that you think that you probably received dude i didn't receive one last season at all i don't think so what was like the last receipt that you think that you received it was probably from 
fall, winter, 17, probably early in it. And then I just started to, oh, I wouldn't get one this week. And then next week, oh, I got a receipt. Or you would get, I would order like, have five orders and only have two receipts. You know what was the last item I think I received in terms of a Supreme receipt? Was for the Supreme Undercover Samurai t-shirts. Uh-huh. I think that's like literally the last fucking receipt that I received from Supreme. Yeah. Everything else has just been online invoice. Right. So now you don't have receipts. So now what? How I mean, do you? How do you? You know? How do you compare something that's like legit that looks? You know, something that's fake that looks legit versus mm-hmm. something that's legit. Like, how do you compare it? Unless if you have it in hand. Right. And that's the beauty. And that's a given, that's the gift and the curse about the online. And this is where I think that consignment shops are the big key because consignment shops, I could just walk in. Right. See it in hand. See how see it, it looks in and hand, feel it. And feel it. See how it looks. Smell it. Online, you know, you could get some shit, which is funny that you say that because I bought like a Supreme shirt from online from somebody. Yeah. And my wife detested every time I washed it to the <laughs> Took it to the cleaners, bathed it in fucking cologne, and my wife hated it. Mm-hmm. She's like, please take that fucking <laughs> shirt off or sell it. And I ended up selling it because it, it, cause it did kind of have an odor that just never, yeah. ever fucking went away. It smells like some other dude. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah kind of horrible. So, you know, um, in terms of just like reselling, you know, you might want to pump your brakes a little bit this season because... It might be not worth it. I'm looking at. Um, I've been looking at um, uh, at eBay. I haven't seen too many sales, um, and that might be due to everybody waiting for Monday for tomorrow. That yeah, might we have be to due- wait till. You yeah, know, I mean, once everything is completely gone, I think everyone's kind of waiting. <clears throat> like, oh, there's still Monday, so right. Why but, would I, Why would I buy a Madonna shirt for two fifty if I have a chance to buy it for forty eight right now? Right, but I think that the other. The other thing that's going to be the decider is the sellout time. Right. I mean, week one is going to be kind of weird. Yeah. For sure. There's always some glitch going yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is something that you could definitely ex- expect from week one. Glitches. Yeah. yeah. Be patient. The checkout process might be fucking different. We don't yeah. even know what the checkout process might be yeah. like. Um. So the sellout time for a fucking shirt that you want might be like a minute. Right. Two minutes. Yeah. A minute and 20 fucking seconds or something like that. Like, we don't know. Like, yeah. week one is always a shit show. I mean, week one is always good because you, you can pretty much get what you like. Mm-hmm. Because there's so much going on. It's a shit yeah. show. There's, yeah. You know, everyone's going for all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. if there's like one thing, you oh, I really want this one thing, you go for that first, you're probably going to get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that like if the if the, the Madonna t shirt is what you want, you might get it because yeah. they I don't know, they might have something that they're gonna fight all the fucking bots. They might restock like a couple seconds later. Yeah. You know, like we just don't know what's gonna be right uh in store for us tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um so uh damn, I mean shit. We pretty much talked a lot about um I don't know if there's anything else that you wanna add. No, just um, just getting antsy. Yeah, for man. This, just uh, for the season to start and uh, see what kind of collabs we get. Yeah, you man. Know, see what um, you know those items that are unseen that they kind of drop from here and there. Yeah. Um, I'm actually kind of excited for the free gift. Yeah. A bouncy ball. I don't yeah. know why I'm hyped over a little yeah. bouncy ball. Yeah, I mean, a little it's, fucking bouncy ball. It's a lot cooler than. Uh, <laughs> The toothbrush they kind of gave you yeah, last season. Yeah, like, if you like, yeah, I, am yeah. I going to use this? There's like, I'm not going to really use it. I just have it just sitting on my <laughs> shelf. Like, look at this toothbrush. You know, what? I recently, there was like one season that they did like the free, uh, like incense, like uh, matchers. Oh, yeah. I match. remember seeing those. Yeah. I never got one. It, yo, and I actually <laughs> used one. I was like, yo, this is like amazing for like, if you're taking a smelly shit and you just <laughs> yeah. and light it up. <laughs> and it smells really, really good. Like it actually smells like real good. Like it, I'm like, yo, where do they sell these? And then I started seeing Urban Outfitters were carrying mm-hmm. them, and like other, like incense uh, stores were carrying them. Right, right. 
So I just started using that, but that was like a weird, like free gift. Mm -hmm. I, I think like the best one so far has been like the handballs. Yeah. You know. Yeah, those blue, are tight. You know, but the bouncy ball is kind of. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is kind of fucking weird. Right, right. Not more weird than the pens, though. Yeah, the pens are weird. Yeah, like the pens was kind of weird. And, you know, both of us were all sticker freaks, too. So kind of yeah, looking forward yeah, to uh, that. that. You know, we saw, you know, there's stickers of whatever T-shirts are out. Yeah. Coming out. Yeah. Um, like the Madonna. I wish that the, the Madonna T-shirt. I, I, I wish the Madonna T-shirt was like a box logo sticker. Yeah. Instead of like a square sticker. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what we get anyways yeah i wonder what's going to be have you seen anything online of like the no. box logo sticker for like no. the first week no right no crazy no um mm -mm. no right i'm not even sure i mean it's probably just going to be for collab stuff i don't really know it would be kind of dope if they did like the supreme fuck you as a box logo yeah with the well, hands yeah with the hands fuck it yeah it could be like the first box logo that's like non they could make that a box logo itself like the first little box logo that's not font right that's like digital you know that'd be kind of fucking fire yeah we kind of need a different box, box logo. logo right that's just not yeah like just plain. like yeah like just uh i mean we did get the camel one that was yeah yeah like the brooklyn one that was like pretty fun you know nobody knew about it, it was like shh yeah Dude, I get hyped over the stickers, man. I'm like, yeah, always hyped yeah. over the stickers. So. Yeah, the, yeah, the fucking stickers is like fire. Um, so I'm just wondering, but I also feel like they're getting like real cheap. Yeah, for sure. I was like, every time I get a fucking bag, I'm like, this is what I got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like just going to the store and they like he yeah. just like fits it like, all right, give you this, 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 this. this. Yeah. I'm like, yo, can I get this one? Like, the worst right, is the end of the season when you only get the box logo. Yeah. sticker and you're just like wow that's all oh, they gave me was one yeah yeah like, yeah like they're getting real fucking <laughs> like shitty handing uh -huh. out stickers but they're good though man they're better than any other like yeah um you know palace you just you just get the palace logo and yeah for that's sure about it yeah. bape doesn't even give you nothing yeah what with the fuck does expensive bape ass give? fucking clothes yeah. they give you yeah, yeah they don't the give you nothing yeah. free yeah what the fuck does bape <laughs> give you how about that yeah so i posted like hey anyone that posts this uh buys for this week it's a free sticker i'm like dude supreme does that every week yeah 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 <laughs> yeah it's like you know i definitely have a shit ton of like supreme stickers so uh but yeah, man, definitely looking forward yep, to this. Definitely. Um, you know, so don't forget tomorrow is the drop. It's not going to be Thursday. So I don't want no fucking text messages tomorrow. I didn't know that the drop was going to be Monday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I always like tell people. Monday at 630 in the morning, go to your news section and yep. read what the fuck is going to happen for that week. That's how... I always know about collabs and et cetera, like, yep. or any type of news. Always go to the news section, Monday, 6.30 in the morning. And um, yeah, man, so this is pretty fun. This is like a almost fucking two-hour podcast. Um, but it was definitely uh, a lot to touch about. So um, we'll probably just come back next week and see. Because uh, it's going to be a mystery, man, this week, for sure. For sure. For sure. Uh, <laughs> It's definitely going to be um, a mystery. So, uh, yeah, so we'll definitely come back next week and uh, talk about uh, online and um, what's dropping for next week. And hopefully, hopefully week two will be a collab. Yeah, yeah. You know, it might be fucking vans or like some shit like that or glasses. Mm -hmm. Who knows? We'll see. That's guess. Yeah. That's guess. What you think? For what? For like a, like the first collab. Like what you think? The gonna first be? collab. Hmm. Roll the I'm not fucking sure. dice. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Carhartt. Damn. Carhartt whip. I I'm going to guess. I'm trying to think of something like fall winter, you know? I'm yes. going to guess it's gonna be Vans. Vans? <laughs> I mean, we could be on point with that. Vans. It might be Vans. Let's see. Yeah. I, I'm gonna I think it's going to be a surprise. I think it's going to be something we don't even think about at all. I'm going to choose three. Is it either going to be Vans, some ugly fucking pair of glasses, or Dr. Martens? Do we get sunglasses, though, for fall, winter? 
Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like we could see some like Carhartt, some like another pair of Timberlands or something, some yeah. docks or something. Carhartt would be like, would be something out of like never, mm-hmm. out of never, Neverland. Yeah. Um, yeah, like Carhartt vests. <sighs> Dude. A Carhartt fucking camp hat. Yeah. <laughs> a Carhartt work jacket. Yeah. Man, Dude, they Supreme, need to get on that. Yeah, Supreme need to work on that shit. Um, yep. Well, good luck to everybody. Yeah, definitely. You guys get everything you want. From yeah, this man. Week. Yeah, definitely. Good luck to everybody. And um, thank you for listening. If you like this, please thumbs up and feel free to comment and subscribe. Um, we'll probably change the name to this like podcast. Like, I don't think I like Killer Kicks anymore. Let's do it. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I was thinking about like word of mouth since I don't have like no. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, I don't know. But uh, fucking uh, definitely uh, comment, even though nobody ever comments. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> put a comment, like if you like it, don't like it if you don't like it. And uh, thank you for listening. Till yep. next time, peace out. All right, peace.